If you was looking for some pet friendly hotels, you're in the right spot. Let me tell y'all about some pet friendly hotels that I like to go to myself. Let's talk about it. YouTube, YouTube, what's the deal? What's the deal? Welcome back to my channel. I'm LB the Breeder. And let me tell y'all about some hotels that I like to go to that's pet friendly, man. And as you know, I'm a breeder, so I do have dogs and we do like to travel. So the first hotel we're gonna put on the list is for our Vegas folks. If you like going to Vegas, man, we're gonna put MGM Grand on the list for pet friendly hotels. A lot of this information will go for any of the MGM resorts uh, in Las Vegas. Uh, most of them are pet friendly, so just pay attention to the details, man. When it comes to the MGM Grand and as far as they pets, it's not really a limitation on weight and stuff like that as far as the pets. Some some hotels do have uh, weight limitations, but for them, there's no weight requirement and stuff like that. But they do allow service dogs. If you just have a pet that you want to go and travel with, they allow up to two dogs per room that you can check into a hotel. So if you do have more, you're just going to have to book more rooms. As far as the pet fee at the MGM Grand or most of MGM resorts, it's going to be $100 for the basic room it's a hundred dollars for the basic room per day it does get expensive but hey it's vegas they're gonna make you spend some money and then with the suites they're gonna charge you 150 dollars per night up to two pets so you they do allow you to have two pets that you can bring I and mean, they're gonna charge you either 100 bucks for a regular room or 150 for a suite they do have an extra service for your pet it's not nothing too crazy but they charge 25 dollars for them to come in and check on your dog for about 10 minutes and then make sure that they're doing all right and i guess they'll send you some pictures and uh, send you a text just to let you know uh, that your dog is doing all right and that's if you need that you know the requirements though for when you do have your pets man you're supposed to keep your pets uh as far as their policy you're supposed to keep the pets crated well when they're in the hotels man and if you got you a barker if you have a dog that's a barker you are liable to get kicked out to a hotel if people do start complaining and stuff like that so make sure man your dog is pretty trained to where he's not too much of a barker and you know your dog if they a barker or not most of the mgm resorts they do have a potty area so once you you know get outside they have a few spots where you can go and take your dogs and they can use the bathroom and stuff like that it just sucks because you're in a hotel uh when you're dealing with these dogs because they don't have like a first floor or nothing like that so you definitely gonna be coming downstairs uh and you know them the morning shots for them dogs man they be ready to go asap but uh yeah but you know don't let stop you from traveling next on the list is the la quinta so all of these hotels that i am telling you about i have been to before myself so uh i have a little bit exp i have I, I have a little bit experience with them and stuff like that and i don't have no bad reviews for these hotels that i've been to myself with my pets they pretty much as long as you take care of your dogs and your dogs is well behaved they don't really mess with you you still can get housekeeping with all of these uh hotels and stuff like that but if you're going to be gone just make sure you take your dog with you you can keep them crated but you just got to know if your dog is going to be barking or not uh once housekeeping come but it's just best to you know skip the housekeeping and stuff like that if you do have a pet it'll save everybody from a headache so pretty much at the la quinta uh, it's a little bit different than the mgm grand uh for the la quinta they charge $25 per day up to two pets and a max amount of $75. So it's a $25 deposit that you pay for up to two domesticated pets up to $75. So once you reach that $75 and you stand there for five days, you're good to go. So the max you'll have to pay is $75. Sometimes they do change up these policies. So make sure you just double check uh, when you, before you do go into these hotels. And you know, the La Quinta is all over the United States. So these would be uh, the La Quinta's pet friendly and most of them are pet friendly. So just make sure you do your research on that actual specific hotel that you do go to. The La Quinta hotels that do have first floor, second floor, third floor. So if you do have a pet, man, I advise you to get on that first floor. So when it's time to go to the bathroom, you know, you don't have to be rushing and stuff like that and, and have accidents when you're trying to take your dog uh, to use the restroom. Now, as far as the pet area and stuff like that, to use the restroom outside the hotel, a uh, majority of them that I've been to, they haven't had a, a pet area, but most of them is always surrounded around grass and stuff like that. So, which is cool. It's uh, easy access and it's more comfortable for the dog. Sometimes those pet areas, the dogs don't, they're not really used to that. So 
they don't really understand how they're supposed to use the bathroom and stuff like that so for the la quinta too as well you all you also have to keep your dog in a cage once you do leave the hotel and stuff like that i'm gonna say this if you know your dog you feel me you don't necessarily have to keep him caged up if you know your dog but you never know what type of boredom and stuff is going to happen when we leave these dogs in these hotels because we might have the best best of the best dog man but once that boredom kick in and stuff like that and they're not in their comfort zone you never know what they might chew on and stuff like that or what they'll get into and even when it comes to using their bathroom so just be mindful of that the la quinta is a, is a lot cheaper when it comes to uh pet policy and stuff like that they don't really have a weight limit some of these hotels have weight limits the next one of these hotels i'm gonna tell you about it does have a weight limit supposedly for the dogs that you have to use i don't know once you get there and stuff like that if they actually really do you know trip on the weight of the animals right now most of my dogs is around like that 60 pound range so i'm borderline if it does sometimes they always be like a smaller dog and it'd be like 50 pounds or stuff like that or smaller so I, i'm i'm close to that range so i'm good to go but you know some people have way bigger dogs some people got way way bigger dogs so i don't know how they're gonna trip if they're gonna trip on that or not but you just got to make sure you call and check the details and a lot like i said once once that you find out that these hotels are pet friendly they really don't be tripping like that man like i said as long as your dog is well mannered and stuff like that and they don't have to be the best of the best trained type of dog but you know your dog uh you should be good so we're gonna talk about the hilton franchises the homewood suites and then the home two suites i've stayed in both of these hotels they have a lot of these hotels all over the united states they have them in cali and they do have them in vegas i stayed in them in vegas and i have stayed at these hotels in california and they, most of these hotels is pretty chill so for their fee that they charge to stay at the homewood suites and the home two suites they usually charge 50 to 75 dollars for your stay when it comes to the deposit so you know if you stay in there one one night that's what you're going to be in your charge if you stay in there for five nights that's going to be your charge it's just between 50 to 75 dollars uh hotel is going to be different depending on the area so make sure you call or you check on a website to the sites that you stand on but that makes it pretty much easy up to two dogs as well it's up to two dogs as well for that deposit and then also too they say for like the max uh weight it's around like 75 pounds which is actually a big dog man so for 75 pounds you might be able to be, be able to get a dog in there that's 100 pounds you know they're not gonna really know the exact weight because 75 pounds on a dog is pretty big but i like this hotel man you know these these hotels homewood suites and stuff like that uh yeah they do have most of them have their little continental breakfast and stuff like that you know i know that won't have nothing to do with dogs but you know dogs like to you know sometimes we like to give our dogs a little table food and stuff like that for those that do and as far as the pet area when it comes to going outside yeah they don't have a pet area you know they just have grass around it around for the one for the spots that i've been to uh, i know they've been building these these are a lot of newer brand hotels so they have been you know being more up to date uh, i haven't been to none of them that have had the uh, pet area for the dogs but all of these hotels are pet friendly you feel me so you're gonna be good to go when you go to these hotels like i said that the deposit is cheap and you can't miss everything is always the same man you got to make sure you keep your dogs caged you out the room and they're in there and it's just for the safety precautions because they don't want you know your dog's tearing stuff up and like i said man you got to know your dog and sometimes we don't know what our dog is going to do you feel me until that situation is at hand and then we be like damn my dog chewed up this or whatever so just be careful with you know when you're taking your dogs to these hotels and you know just be mindful of that so we're gonna bring it all the way back to las vegas again for the people who like to stay in this caesar resort so the caesar resort is just like the mgm uh where they have their own franchise of hotels and stuff like that for the caesar resorts they have caesar palace uh they have the lynx uh they have the flamingo they have paris las vegas and they have planet hollywood it's a few other hotels that they do uh, incorporate into their franchise and these hotels are pet friendly they are pet friendly as far as the deposit that they're going to charge you for these rooms they all have their different prices uh when it comes to their pet fee and stuff like that uh most of them range between uh, uh 75 bucks to about 125 and then i guess it probably depends on the tier of the hotel that you're staying in as far as your pet deposit and this is per night and then also too right they do charge you a hundred dollars 
uh, incident fee, which is refundable. So make sure that you have these funds uh, available for when you have your pets and you stay in these hotels. And like I said, man, you want them to stay on point and not mess anything up so you can get these fees back that they do charge extra for some of these hotels. When it comes to the uh, pet relief area, they do have a relief area outside of most of these hotels as to where once you come out and they have your, the area where your dogs can use the restroom. They do have an in crate service to where they can bring crates for your dogs and if they will charge you extra. And that's pretty much it. Uh, they pretty much chill when it comes to these resorts. Most of the Vegas, to be honest, most of the pet friendly Vegas hotels that I've stayed in, they're pretty chill. You know, as long as you're on point, you have to worry about too much, man. You could turn up and you can still have your dogs with you. That's pretty much it on this video, man. Let me know if y'all would like some more hotels that I could find for y'all that's pet friendly and stuff like that. I'm going to keep dropping gems. We on our way to 1,000 subscribers. Man, like, comment, share, and subscribe to the content, man. If y'all want some more of this, like I keep telling y'all, man, I'm going to keep dropping gems for y'all, man. Uh, Go back and watch all my other videos, and I guarantee, man, you're going to learn something. Uh, my videos are getting better. We're just going to get better, you know. I'm going to start upgrading my equipment. I know I got to continue to grind. It's only going to get better from here. If y'all love bullies, man, subscribe to this channel. Let me know what other type of content that y'all will want for the future, man. I appreciate y'all that's been supporting me and tapping in and watching my channel. I'm LB the Breeder, and I'm out.